I've been making some samples um, to check my adhesives and to check my grout and to check my grout colour and my polish. So um, this piece and this piece um, was me checking that this adhesive hadn't gone off because I've had this adhesive for about five years and the shelf life they tell you is about two years. Um, it's very good quality adhesive and it's what I use when I'm fixing mosaic. Um, I do mosaic in schools sometimes, that sort of thing. So um, this is a piece of plasterboard and it's fine and this is a piece of hardboard and that's fine because the arch that I'm going to fix to is some of the wall is plaster and then the curved arch at the top is actually hardboard so I needed to check I didn't really know actually, but it does it does fix to wood beautifully. And I even I even dried it upside down because obviously the arch will be above my head. And it was fine. Um, the, these pieces I uh, grouted white because I imagined I'd want white grout, but I'm not sure I do now. So I'm going to do a little experiment here with some different shades of, of grout. Uh, white and also I'm going to do grey. So in here I have pigment and I use pigment in my stained glass. It darkens up the cement I use and also the lead. This sample tile has got a floor polish which is what I'm going to use to give it a sheen, pledge, revive it, which is only available in America. So although it, it's only about a fiver really. You, you're paying a lot for the tra uh, delivery. But it seems the easiest uh, way to get just a little bit of a sheen. Don't want a high gloss, just a bit of a sheen. So what I'm not sure about is whether I should use that, I've never used it before, whether I should use this Revive It um, before or after I've put the, um, uh, what's it called, the grout in. You see it would be quite nice if I could put the pledge on while it's all still horizontal. Um, but if I do that, then I'm going to be grouting it after I put the pledge on. Now, grout is ever so slightly abrasive, so while I'm rubbing it into the grout joints, it might end up removing the, uh, the pledge finish. So that's what this ex these experiments today are about. So I'm going to mix up some white, first of all. And then I'm going to gradually mix up different batches with um, increasing amounts of black pigment. There we are. So you want it sludgy, really, for want of a better word. If it's still got dry bits at the bottom, just very carefully add a little bit more until you get it uh, like thick cream, thick whipped cream. It's very uh, messy if you get it too um, runny, so. Oh, you can add a bit more powder if, if that happens. So that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to put white on this area and then it will cover both the bit that is um, polished and the bit that isn't. tiny bit of this black pigment just to take the colour down a bit. So this is like a dove grey, so it's a very gentle pale grey.
So I think that's too, too light to be significantly different. So we will just keep, keep going with the pigment. So, if the last one was dove grey, this one is elephant grey, I reckon. I'm going to try it much darker now. So, I get my pigments from a shop called Cornelson who are up at Hoban, there's a company that specialises in um, brick dye and grout dye, and they're called dye brick, and they're brilliant, you can get every shade under the sun. And some of their dyes, as opposed to their pigments, you can actually use to change the colour of grout even after you've applied it which, if you've made a mistake on the colour of your grout, is very useful. Now. It does change the character of a piece if you, um, you know, depending on what colour you grout it, it really does change it. And it is always worth doing a test because I have made mistakes in the past. You just assume, you think, Oh, I know what this will look like. This will be the right colour. And then it isn't. So. Um, this is a grout spreader. And uh, you can spread the adhesive with this um, sort of tongue uh, grooved, grooved side. And this is a flexible sort of paddle side. Uh, for grouting, so very handy little thing, I've had it years. Now, I'm just lifting the excess off, oh, look, there's a bit that didn't get any grout at all. And what you really need for cleaning off the surface of grouted tiles, and this is a big job when, uh, when you're doing um, mosaic, because there's a lot of grout lines, um, what you really need is a sponge. So once I've lifted the main excess off, I should get a sponge. So the first few times you run the sponge across, it's sort of dragging a lot of the um, grout with it. Um, you have to do a lot of rinsing. And you'll never get everything up. And what will happen is you will be left with a, a very fine dusting of grout. And once it's all dry, that will buff off. But the more you wipe it with your... Um, sponge, your damp sponge, in, in an attempt to get rid of that last remnant of grout, the more you'll spread it around. So um, this is probably the best approach. Leave it once it's dried, you can give it a proper buffing.
So there it is. Now I can't tell at the moment because I'll have to wait till after I've buffed it. I can't tell whether that has taken the polish off, but um, I will come back to this later and I will know. Oh, that irritates me. Go on, go on. So, interesting. Which do we prefer? I will get some second opinions. And actually, for deciding this sort of thing, it's quite good sometimes to take photos. You somehow see things in a different way on a screen where it's reduced uh, to when you see the whole. So, let's wait and see. So there's the white side, and there's the grey side. So I will uh, wait till it's all dried and give it a nice buff. I'm just giving it a little wipe for the wet wipe to get the dust off the surface. Sometimes you have to do this a couple of times. This is wet wipes by the way. Brilliant for most jobs. This has been left for a few hours now. Uh, about four hours. And it's quite warm, so I'm sure it's all dry. So I'm just going to give it another rub over with a wet wipe just to get everything off, any last remaining dust. Now what I'm looking to see is whether you can st still see any of the polish. Uh, a little bit, but um, it's going to need polishing after I've grouted it, I think. Um, and then I will take second opinions about grey or white. Grey or white, grey or white. The grout's set now, it's dry, so I'm going to put some of this Pledge Revive It Floor Gloss on. Now I paint it on because if you use a cloth you do tend to um, you do tend to get bits of fluff, bits of lint from the cloth on the um, surface. Um, this is a little brush but Obviously, if I was going to do a large area, I would use a larger brush. But this is the one I've been using on my samples. So, I don't think there's any point in um, putting this stuff on before I grout it. You could see it a little bit, but not enough. Not enough. So I will have to put this on while it's vertical. Actually, I should have probably tried that, shouldn't I? Yeah, that's all right. That's fine. Yeah, it doesn't drift about. I mean, it is quite runny, but you just have to not overload your brush. It's um, glossier than it will be when it's uh, dry. Uh, very high gloss at the moment. It looks very like ceramic, doesn't it? I'm really pleased with that. Uh, so I'll let this dry and then we're done. And I just washed this brush out with water and that seems to work fine. 